All right, let's take a look here at EC2 instance families. So what are instance families? Well, instance families are different combinations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking capacity. And instance families allow you to choose the appropriate combination of capacity to meet your application's unique requirements. Different instance families are different because of the varying hardware used to give them their unique properties. And we do talk about this thing about uh, capacity reservation where AWS can actually run out of a particular type of instance family because they just don't have enough hardware in that data center. And so you have to reserve it. But let's go through the different types of instance families. The first is general purpose. And these are the names of the different families. Uh, very popular ones is the T2, um, the T2. And one that's really interesting is the Mac, which actually allows you to run um, a, a Mac server. So these are a great balance of compute, memory, and network resources. So you're going to be using these most of the time. The use cases here would be web servers, code repositories, things like that. Then you have compute optimized. So um, they all start with C, uh, no surprise there. They're ideal for compute bound applications that benefit from high performance processor. Their edge cases here are scientific modeling, dedicated gaming servers, ad server engines, things like that. Then you have memory optimized. Um, and so there's a variety here. These are fast performance for workloads that process large data sets in memory. Um, they're great for in-memory caches, in-memory databases, real-time big data analytics. Then you have accelerated optimized. So this is your P2, P3, P4, things like that. Uh, these are uh, hardware accelerators or coprocessors. These are great for machine learning, computational finance, seismic analysis, speech recognition. If you're doing um, uh, ML on AWS, you're, you'll start coming across these types. AWS technically has a separate page on SageMaker ML machines, but they're all pulling from these instance families, okay? Then you have storage optimized, so i3, i3en, things like that. Uh, these are highly uh, high sequential read and write access to very large data sets on local storage. The use cases here would be NoSQL, in-memory or transactional databases, data warehousing. For the certified cloud practitioner, you just need to generally know these five categories, not the names of the instance families. If you're doing um, associates or above, you definitely want to know these things in a bit more detail. And I want to say that commonly instance families are called instance types, but an instance type is a combination of size and family. But even AWS's documentation doesn't make this family distinction clear. But I know this because, you know, in Azure, they make that very clear and, and GCP. And so I'm bringing that language over here to just kind of normalize it for you. Okay.